And when we're we're looking at businesses, we're looking at businesses, I call it that, you know, kind of the businesses that get it, you know, that little twinkle eye. And we can see that. A good example is CVS. So we just got a CVS grant this year. And, and, and you know, in, in the conversations with CVS, it wasn't just getting a grant from them. It was sitting down with them. It was how can we, how can we reach you? How can we reach your employees? How can we work with you? When CVS Caremark is thinking about partnering with organizations, the goal is really to get to the people. It's really to find those opportunities and pockets of people that really don't have access to health care. When we think about building healthier communities, it's really reaching the access and making sure that people have what they need to take care of themselves. Wellness and prevention, critical part of a long-term health care strategy. So when we think about what we want Gloria Gemma to be successful in the longer term, is really to make sure that everybody knows what they need to know and gets the help that they need. So several years ago, I was having conversations with my parents about family history and some of the factors that we needed to think about. My mom had had a serious heart attack a few years before that. And in the conversation about parents and grandparents and things we need to know about, my fa father actually casually mentioned that his mom had passed away from breast cancer. And I looked at him incredulously saying that that's an important fact that we should have known. And he didn't think of it as an important fact. He's 85 years old and a long life of of, of him and his brothers and sisters. It just didn't seem like he thought it was as big of a deal as it potentially could have been now that we know all the things that we know about wellness and prevention. You know, having the conversation with my father was awkward at first, um, but once we started talking about it and he opened up, it was a, an amazing source of knowledge for me. This is sort of the point of the bus, is to have these conversations that can be uncomfortable, but really trying to ask the right questions. It's a small community, but a large community in the sense that if one out of six women today are gonna be diagnosed with breast cancer in our state, we need to do a lot more outreach.